to win it. To the right side, and we're all the way. Just about. It's a good shot, though. He did see Cook uh, put the ball in the air once in the winter at Dunedin, where he pulled out straight to point, but uh, nine times out of ten, or 99 times out of 100, he will hammer that to the boundary. There we go. That could be out. It is. Strange, strange shot. And that's what dot balls do to you. Got it through. Goes all the way. Oh. Edged. And has it carried? I think it has. A really good catch. The England captain's gone. Wonderful bowling by New Zealand. Great disciplines. It's a boundary. Nicely timed. That will go, it's uphill, but it will get there. Well timed. Seven runs coming from, from that over, it's 91 for two. Runs. It's a no ball, and it goes all the way. That's a lovely shot. Ian Bell at his best. 105 for two. Bad ball from uh, Bruce Martin and gets what it deserves. Oh, outside edge and gone. What a beauty that is. Bringing the ball back into the pads and then this time angled across. Runs for Joe Root here. It is a slow outfield today. The outfield has been relayed over the winter. It's still a bit woolly. It's a throw. Crowd love it. England will love it. It's the one thing they haven't been able to do too much today is punish the bad ball to the max. Sweep shot. And a good one at that. That's a, a good ploy for England to think about. 138 for three becomes 142 for three. Just dropped it a wee bit short. Good footwork, good timing, good placement. Brings a rare boundary. Oh, yeah. oh balls. Beautifully bowled across the right-hander. The change of angle has done it. And it is the tiniest of edges that carries through into the gloves, which means it's the end today for Ian Bell. Well, again, Sally just pushing the ball in, and, and this time Root... Happy to take advantage. It was a bit fuller. It was a lovely, juicy half volley, really. 164 for four. That's nicely played. Right hander facing a left arm. You should be thinking about driving straight. You should be thinking about playing mid off, mid on, mid wicket if there's swing and not through wide cover. Tried the magic delivery. Is there an inside edge? Yes. What a death for Root, he can't believe it, a strangle down the leg side. Oh, the in-swing, uh, given first ball. Now, will he review it? Yes, he's thinking of height. He's asking Bairstow about the height. And he will review it. If it's just clipping, it will be out. It will stick with umpire's call. In line. And it will be umpire's call. Hit it. Goes down the slope. Oh, that's very close. That's out. That's plum. Don't review that. Walk back. Swan will play his shots. Two balls. He has his first boundary. Touch there as well, and he's gone. Cut over. A little short and a little wide, and Besto, the previous ball, had deliberately cut it along the ground, but found the field. This, this time he's up and over the slips. Oh, out, surely. Yeah. Finger goes up. 
Finn playing for that outswing. I think he thought Southie was going to send this towards the slips, but he kept on going and he got that front pad right in the way. I'll give it a bash. Yeah, give it a bash, Johnny Bairstow. Absolutely low scoring game. This could be good conditions to bowl. Oh, what a catch. Johnny Bairstow, last man out. It's one of those that just stick in there. Four wickets for Tim Southey. Innings is over. 232 all out. Stylish shot from Rutherford through the offside down the hill will be four. All edged and gone. First wicket, it's swinging for England. Wonderful delivery for Jimmy Anderson. 299. Good catch from the captain as well. Gone. That is number 300. Fantastic achievement that from Jimmy Anderson. I don't think their slow outfield will prevent that from going into the boundary. Cut away. That's four. Shot. That will roll away. That's beautiful timing. That's four. That's a good shot, up and over, takes the aerial route, takes the outfield. Short, wide, and four, that's Taylor's favourite shot. There it is again. Now Cook has got to think about having a man out there. Do you set a, a field for poor bowling, or do you set a field where the batsman's hitting it? That's a sweet shot, there's nothing wrong with that delivery. That is just a superb cricket shot. The in-swinger, another drive, another four. Taylor moves to 48, it's 70 for two. That's not going to swing from that length, short, wide, four. That should be it. Come back for two, first 50 of the match. Ross Taylor. 50 off just 49 deliveries, well played. Swept away, powerfully. Oh, huge appeal again this time, yes. And he doesn't even think about it, Ross Taylor, that'll do fine. Lost it there, Jimmy Anderson. Lost it at the crease. That was off the front foot, although it was short. Came on to the front foot and just, perhaps just rocked back a bit. Didn't really push right back. Big shout, where's that going? Steve Davis says no, whether they got bat or missing leg. So England are thinking, thinking, yes, they're going to have a go. So it didn't hit the inside edge. So it was two pads, pad then pad. They were the two noises. Let's see. What does Hawkeye say? Impact in line, hitting, gone. Stephen Finn was right. He told his captain, let's have a look. Is there an edge there? Yes. He's been given, McCullum stands there. He could review it. That brings up the half century. A couple of runs moves him on to 51. Very important runs, these for his team, New Zealand. And that one gets the full treatment. Big sound and given. Alim Dar had absolutely no doubt. No doubt whatsoever. That's a great shot. Something streaky about the previous one that went over slip. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that one. It's right out of the middle of the bat. Even better shot this time from Southey. It's gone straight up in the air. And the catch is taken. Joe Root safe with the hands. England will be relieved of that. Beautifully bowled. Anderson has five. Thirteenth time that he's got a five-wicket haul in test matches. And that was an absolute beauty.
Oh, that's cracker. And he's deserved every one of these, he said. Is at an edge. England seem convinced, and so does the umpire. It's a poor shot. Wasn't the length to drive. And that'll do. England do have a lead. Trent Bolt, uh, not a particularly good player. And, uh, Mm, nice, very nice. There's that delivery that he bowled to Jonathan Trott. He's got the slope, so it just about gets there for four. That's not a bad catch, I'll tell you. That is a good, good catch. Oh, bowling with an absolute jaffer. Full swinging delivery. Eyes wide shut. Up the hill. There'll be enough on this to find a boundary. With a width. He's getting a bit excited. Wagner. Source shot. 12 overs, 45 for two. Yeah. Oh, that's a good shot. Two fielders are out there. Looking for the false hook shot. Finds four. Yeah. Now he starts with a short ball, and that's the point, really. When you get a bad ball, you've got to put it away. There's that short, wide ball, and it has been put away, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Shot for Root more evidence that uh, they're going to be more runs down through third man in the second innings because the pitch yeah. that's well played races away lots of room over the top well that was the opportunity he was waiting for that is the opportunity he has said thank you very much indeed for and that is 50 Finally, the gap is found, short and wide from uh, Bruce Martin. It's a free hit. So that might be the end of uh, Bruce Martin for a little while. It's beautifully played down the hill, little race away. He won't pull that in at all, Tom Latham. Flicks it in the air, but timed it beautifully. Just the wrists, another boundary. Side edge. Saudi back into the attack and Root's gone. Oh, now is that an edge there? I think it is. It'll be 50 for Trot, but he gets there uh, with a bit of luck. Well, it is a chance, but it's never easy, is it? Left handed. Like that. Perfect. Full and straight, trying to bring the ball back in. Bold. Brilliant from Saudi. Well predicted by you wide of the crease oh, and a bouncer and it does the job looked at his length bangs one in short who's he got Matt Pryor Pryor's bagged him yeah! oh bowled him it's an absolute smarter part time off spin of the ball spinning anxious England very anxious oh outside edge and gone early strike beautiful delivery night watchman's gone Gonna play some shots. Yeah, I think it's the best way for Broad to go. Gets four. Outside edge and gone. Terrific stuff. Brownlee safe hands. It's Southie with a fifer. Laser through extra cover. Stand and deliver. Yeah. Edged. Well, Graham Swan likes width. We see him often flay the ball through the offside, but it's laced with risk. Nine or ten fielders around the bat. Ted! Oh, it's out. 
Anderson driving out of the rough. It's a poor shot, really, because you can have no control once the ball lands in that rough. But what an excellent morning for this New Zealand team. Edge done gone. An early breakthrough. That's exactly what England were hoping for. We'll get there eventually. That goes up the hill. Goes all the way. Good shot. Hold them. Another one goes. Edged. On. Found the gap, not a big gap there between the fourth slip and the gully, but he managed to get it through. Ah! Driven straight to mid-off. What a good catch from Finn. Broad has four for. Killer blow this for New Zealand, not just the player Williamson, but the time. One ball, McCullum, four. I reckon he's going to play. <laughs> Edge gone. Anderson joins the fun. In swing, out swing, too good. Oh, is he outside the line? No given. McCullum reviewed it in the first innings. Is he going to do the same in the second? The only thing was, was he outside the line? Umpire's call. He's been given out on the field. He'll be given out off the field. said how safe England's catching has been they put one down outside edge catch that go on catch that where's Swan he's not there that's why the man is out there is Joe Root and he's taken it it's not a costly miss for Jimmy Anderson Joe Root has snapped the ball at the square leg and Stuart Broad has another a good shot Really uh, solid cut shot played by Watkin. Oh, yeah. oh that one moved and late and just enough to take the edge. Might have been that extra swing. Oh. Wagner pulling it hard and high and over the top for six one feels. Yes, it is. Everything came flying out of the ground then. Well. Up in the air. Who's got this? Ellis the clock. Can you get there? Can someone get there? No! Down she goes. sums up this innings for New Zealand. Well, it does. It is, it is calamity. And I think uh, it's all over. Ford's going to finish with seven wickets. Right, watch it. It's... I'm not quite sure what happened there. That's... Now then, what's happening up here? Yes, no. Jimmy Anderson's got the ball in hand. Well, there you go.